the lighting in this room makes it look like I'm being visited by God. So I have finished Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. And this was a novel that was pretty much reminded me a lot. I think of that movie was called Red that had Bruce Willis in it and, and Helen Mirren. This is very much along those lines. It's about four former assassins who have retired and then realize that there is a hit out on them because the organization that they work for, something shady has gone down in. And then the rest of the book is them trying to figure out who has put the hit out on them and get their handlers pretty much all done away with so they can be safe at the end of it. And these are all ladies in their 60s who it goes back and forth in flashbacks a little bit that Billy is kind of the main character of these four. Now, this is a fun read. It's not that deep of a read in this. It's just more kind of a adventure, assassins, that whole thing. The only problem I have is you could have changed the ages from 60 to 20 and there would not have been that much of a difference in what these women were doing. Occasionally, it was sort of thrown in that these women were, oh, you know, I'm not as good as I used to be, or they would throw in things about, you know, I have to do yoga so I can still be limber or whatever else. But taking away from that, it's pretty... You could have pretty much interchanged everything with a 20-something-year-old, and it would have been the same. So much so that even the the stuff that they're doing to to get into the houses and different places where they're where they're knocking off their former handlers is they they don't mention it being like a lot of a hard problem in in some situations and I I understand that these are assassins and they're trained and and whatever else but it, it was a little. I expected there that to be a bigger part of the plot than it was, based off the fact that the whole, the whole kind of gimmick of the novel was the fact that these were elderly assassins trying to knock off their elderly handlers, and parts of that were funny. There's another thing where they don't really talk about how Billy sort of ends up as like a foster mother of this Ukrainian girl and. She's just kind of there. She She's almost a deus ex machina more than anything else because she was like, well, that's a long story. And then they never, I never really noticed where they went into the story of how those two ended up as as living together and, and having any sort of, sort of a mother-daughter relationship. It was very, that one was very odd. It was like that, that girl just kind of ended up there so she could be the computer expert who got them in everywhere. And that seemed just kind of a little bit contrived on that, but just because of the fact that it, they, they didn't go into any, any detail about how the two of them ended up together. But other than that, it was a fun read. Um, it was enjoyable. It was a fast read because they immediately, it immediately launches in about how these women were uh, they go on a cruise, and it ends up that they are targeted on the cruise, and then it's a whole thing about how they're going to get out of this situation of of being eliminated by their employers. So that part is good. It's just, it was odd to me that that was the conceit of this novel was the fact that they were elderly, and it did not necessarily dwell on that a whole lot. They did a lot of flashing back. To, to different things where, oh, this is how they kind of got into stuff and how their interpersonal relationships or Billy's were with people. But it didn't really have much of a difference when it came down to what they were talking like as 60 years old. They're, they still, there was still, I don't know, you could expect it to be sassy grannies, but there was, a, there was an element of it that didn't feel like 60-year-old women talking to each other. There was an element of it there that just didn't feel like that. So this is, like I said, along the lines of red, um, not necessarily as strong as red, simply because the writing 
they were definitely older actors who were who were in that movie. But this one, um, it's a good novel. Don't don't write that part off. But the, if you were expecting it to be more focused on the fact that they are older, it is not really. Um, it's just kind of like here and there mentioned a little bit, but I have finished this one and I'm moving on to, unfortunately, another Civil War one. I ended up with a bunch of Civil War nonfiction, um, at the same time. So moving on to nonfiction again.